Hello everyone, in the prior session, we looked at payroll liabilities and explained the various deductions, including journal entries. In this session, we will work through a comprehensive problem on payroll li liabilities, covering how to compute various deductions, including FICA, both Social Security and Medicare, and their limitation. We will also look at how we compute FUTA and SUTA for the employer. This is an excellent opportunity to consolidate the knowledge that you earned in the prior session, which is how to compute the payroll liabilities and compute the deduction. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Hello, my name is Farhat. You are here because you are either an accounting student, a finance student, or someone who's studying for their CMA or CPA exam. Great, you are looking for some additional help and we can help you. I strongly encourage you to visit my website, farhatlectures.com. I offer additional lectures, resources, including PowerPoint slides, multiple choice questions, in some circumstances, exercises, and true-false questions. Our material is aligned with your CPA review courses, with your CMA review courses, with your college courses. I offer a risk-free trial that you can try to find out whether my website can help you or not. If you find it helpful, you subscribe, you keep your subscription. If not, you cancel and your risk is free. If you like this recording, if you like my lectures, you would like what's on the website. Give me a chance to help you with your college courses as well as professional certification. I hope to see you on the website. Let's dive into this comprehensive problem. Adam Corporation has four employees Employees paid by the hour earn $12 per hour for a regular 40-day work week and $18 overtime, which is over 40 hours. FICA Social Security is 6.2 of the first 168,800. This is important. This is the limit for the Social Security paid to each employee. And FICA Medicare are 1.45%. Notice there is no limit for Medicare. FUTA taxes are 0.6, which is the net federal rate, and SUTA taxes, we're going to say 5.4 of the first 7,000 paid to each employee. The 7,000 is the limit for both FUTA and SUTA. Again, the limit could be something different for SUTA. We're going to keep it at 7,000. Also, the company has benefits plan that includes medical insurance, life insurance, and retirement fundings for employees. Under this plan, employees must contribute 6% of their gross income as a payroll withholding, which the company matches with double the amount. So for the benefits, the employee pays 6% of their gross income. Then the employer portion, the, the employer also pitch in, the employer contribute to their benefit plan. Some companies are so generous that the employer, the company pays all the benefits. Some companies, they don't pay anything. And some companies, 50-50. It seems this one, whatever the employee pays, the, um, the employer will match, will double. And this is the payroll register that we have. And we're going to have to complete first. Then we're going to prepare the journal entries. So if you want to take a moment, pause, complete, the table first, make sure you know how to compute FICA Social Security, FICA Medicare, FURA, SURA, the employee benefit plan withholding, the employer benefit plan expense, net pay. That's the first thing you want to do. So the first thing we're going to complete this. And after we complete this, we are going to, we are going to do what? We are going to prepare the journal entries. And this is why this is a comprehensive problem. And this problem is comprehensive because as I told you, it's going to touch upon the limit. So first, let's start with Alex. Alex cumulative pay 190,000. What does that mean? It means up to this point, up to this point, Alex earned 180,000. What does that mean? Why is this important? Why do we have to know the cumulative pay if they are paid $8,000 this period? The cumulative pay is important because Alex exceeds 168,800. What does that mean? It means the employer don't pay any social security tax. Why? Because they exceeded, they exceeded the amount. 
Well, how about Medicare? It does not matter. Medicare don't have a limit. So to compute the employee Medicare, we're going to take how much Alex made this period, which is $8,000 multiplied by, guess how much? 1.45. And this is going to give us the Medicare. Now, the federal income tax is given. Just it's given. So of the 8,000, 1,600 is given for the federal income tax. Once again, if you are wondering, how did we come up with this number? You would learn this in your payroll course, how to come up with the federal income tax withholding. You don't have to worry about it for your accounting course because it's it's basically either, either your income tax course or your payroll. But let's compute the Medicare. So if we take 8,000 times 1.45, so $8,000 times 1.45, that's going to give us $160 if my math is right. Okay. Now, how about FUTA and SUTA? Do employers have to pay any FUTA and SUTA? Remember, employer pays those. No, why not? Because the employee, Alex, already earned $7,000. Alex earned $7,000 a long ago. So the employer don't have to pay for that. How about the employee ben benefit plan withholding? Yes, what's the deal? The deal is... 6%. So if we take $8,000 times 0.06, the, emplo the employee will have to withheld $480 from their paycheck. Now, how about the employer portion of the benefit? Double this amount. If we take this amount times 2, the employer will have to come up with $960. What is the employee net pay? The employee net pay is, let me show you, it is eight thousand eight thousand minus let me just do this in a different color minus one thousand six hundred this is not the best color let me just choose something else let's use a pen pencil minus one thousand seven hundred minus one sixty minus four eighty and whatever that amount happens to be this will be the net Pay, which we'll see it on the next slide. Bella. Bella cumulative so far is 10,500. She's a, Bella is a salaried employee. Uh, the gross pay is a thousand this period and they took $150 from Bella's gross paycheck for federal. What Bella has to pay employee social security, of course, 10,500 is way below 168,800. We're going to take this number times 6.2%. Would she, would she have to pay 1.45 of the Medicare? Absolutely. And whatever we deduct here from her paycheck, the employer, well, the employer will have to match. The employer will have to match. Now, would the employer have to pay SUTA or FUTA? And the answer is no, because Bella already exceeded seven thousand dollars so the employer already paid that amount on her behalf then a thousand dollar times six percent that's easy that will be the employee benefit plan times two will be the employer then we figure out the net let's look at carlos six thousand dollar so far this pay this pay is 960. the first thing we need to see about Carlos. Carlos is below 168,800. Therefore, Carlos will pay Social Security. Of course, they will pay Medicare. 6.2 times 960, 1.45 times 960 will give us the employer portion. Would the employer have to pay Fura and Sura? Of course, yes and yes. What's the rate? 0.6% for Fura and 5.4% for Sura. Why? Because notice, up to this point, Carlos only earned 6000 and 960 if we add 6000 plus 960 we're $40 below that limit of how much 7000 the employee benefit plan withholding 6% of 960 times 2 will give us the employer then we'll compute the net pay same thing for Dana Dana will have to pay employee social security employee medicare futa by the employer and suta obviously the benefit than the net pay.
and this should be the answer this should be the answer once again how do we come up with I'm gonna one more time how do we come up with this number it's the gross pay times 6.2 percent how do you come up how do we come up with this number gross pay times 1.45 why is this zero I'm sorry why is this five five dollars and seventy six cent it's nine hundred and sixty times 0 0.6 percent point six percent which is point zero zero six the 5184 is 960 times 5.4 percent this is the gross pay times six percent and this amount the employer portion is 57.6 and the employer double contribute the double which is 115.20 the net pay is one more time the last time I will do this it's the gross pay minus the federal minus the employee portion of Social Security, minus the employee portion of Medicare, minus the employee portion of the benefit will give us the net pay. Now let's take a look at the journal entry. We're going to debit salaries expense 9000 for the salaried employee and debit wages expense 1920 for the hourly employees. Together is 10920 This is expenses because we paid the employee salaries and wages. Then we will credit FICA taxes payable. We will credit 18104 FICA Social Security payable. We will credit FICA Medicare 15834. Then we will credit 65520 for the withholding for the benefits. And the total net pay for all the employees is $7,935.42. So this is the entry that we make to record the employee the employee wages debit expense credit the payable now obviously we're going to pay the employees when we cut the check to the employees we'll debit this payable and we credit cash so this liability is gone because we paid it then we have to debit fica taxes payable debit social security debit medicare debit the benefits and credit cash when we pay off the liabilities and we eliminate those liabilities so what's left is expense and cash and this wages payable gone so all what's left is the expense and the cash that we pay so the this is the expense and this is the amount of cash and all as well so this is the employee payroll entry the employee so because we paid the employee are we done no we're not done why not because we did not account for FUDA and SUTA we did not account for the employer portion and we did not account for the matching remember the employer will have to match so let's look at the journal entry that gives us what gives us the employer payroll tax the employer is responsible for matching FICA Social Security matching FICA Medicare paying FURA paying SURA and the employer is responsible for doubling whatever the employee pays in benefit. 6%, they double it. So what entry do we have to make? We have to credit those liabilities. Matching FICA Social Security, matching FICA, matching FICA Medicare, FUTA, and SURA. Then we have to debit payroll tax expense, and it should be 454.59, not 31.59. Then also the employer is responsible because this employer would like to do what? Match, their, match the benefit. Then the, the employer also responsible for paying 1310 So the employer portion of these are payroll tax expense 454.59 for matching FICA SS, FICA Medicare, FUTA and SURA, and the employer is responsible for $1,310.40 in benefit. Then at some point, a week, two weeks, or a month, the company will do what? Will cut the paychecks and they would remove those liabilities. They will debit this account, 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 and they credit cash 